Of you, please save my mom. She's dying and she badly needs help. As much as I want to help you, this hospital has its policies. Please don't give up on her. I know she can still be saved, so please do everything to save her. I don't understand your policies, but we've already spent everything we had to treat her illness and save her from death. I'm begging you, doctor. Please calm down, miss. Just please save my mom, doctor. I'm begging you. Being anxious really? won't do anything. How can you tell me not to be anxious? My calm mom's down. dying calm and down. you're not doing anything to save her. Is there really no other way to save my mother, Try doctor? To do my best. Excuse me. Xiao Zhao? It really is you. It's me, Zhang Shang. I don't Xiao know you. Uh... Hey! Xiao Zhao! Xiao Zhao! Xiao Zhao, wait for me! Xiao Zhao! Xiao Zhao! Hey! Please talk to me! Xiao Zhao! Please talk to me! You know me! Xiao Zhao! Zheng Sheng? I just saw Xiao Zhao. She ran away, but I really saw her. Maybe it wasn't her. I swear I just saw her! Zheng Sheng. She just... Please do this for Bei Xiao Wu's sake. Just pretend you didn't see her. We're not Bei Xiao Wu, and it's not for us to decide who should or shouldn't be with him. We cannot decide for him. Let me take you home. Thank you for the ride.
Excuse me. I still have an unpaid medical bill here. I'll settle it before we go out. Okay, let me just check it. Okay. Oh, the medical bill's already been paid. It's settled? Yes. Are you sure, nurse? Yes, miss. It's already settled. told me that someone has already paid your medical bills. Ma, guess who paid for it? Liam Xiang. I think he was the one. What should I do now? Six years ago, I did something terrible that I'm regretting right now. And from then on, I've made my decision that I won't owe anybody. Even if I was penniless. I saw Shaojo yesterday. You're kidding me. Really? I saw her yesterday. Where? At the hospital. But... Liangshan asked me not to tell Bei Xiaowu. So what do you... Think of Xiaozhou. Xiaozhou, um... Honestly... After all these years... I still see her as... I still see her as my friend. Your friend? Mm-hmm. <sighs> that girl did a bad thing to us. How could you still think of her as one of your friends? You know what? You really are such a saint, my friend. You're so kind to everyone. Jin Liang. Xiaozhou didn't have any other choice back then. And besides, <sighs> Tianan forced her to do what she did. I understand where she's coming from. Listen, Zhengsheng. Being kind is not wrong, but everything has a limit. You shouldn't always be kind. Do you get me? Jin Liang. Please, don't worry about me. Whatever you're planning to do, make sure you don't get too close to Xiao Zhou. I just don't want you to get yourself hurt again. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. All right. No, excuse me. Hey. Uh. Who is okay, that move. man? Let me through. That's cute. The photographer who's making Babo the next internet sensation. What are you doing? I'm working. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is a hospital. Stop. Get out of here. Where are your manners? You have a problem with me? Oh, okay, okay. Don't get mad. Let's go. Let's go. What? Let's go, go, go. I'm not Just done go. yet. Bye. Pack your things now. Let's go. Carry me. Excuse me? The doctor said you're fine and you can walk alone. Let's just go. I'm your girlfriend now. Shawu, why do I feel like you're not proud to have me as your girlfriend? Why are you looking at me like you want to kiss me? <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? You said you loved jumping in the water so much, didn't you? So I'll let <laughs> you stay there with the turtles. Oh, why don't you just admit that you and I are a couple now? <sighs> oh my goodness, I jumped in the water because of you! <laughs> You're a big liar, Shao Wu. You're such a big liar. You told me you like me and whoa, I believe- Whoa, 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 wait. When you get a little older, that's when I'll let you be my girlfriend, okay? Promise? I promise. I swear to die? I swear.
23 years old already? Yeah. Your name is Cheng Chang Lai? <laughs> What? Chen Chang Lai? Well, my mom gave me that name, and the Lord knows what she was thinking when she did it. Anyway, I'm a grown-up now. Am I right? Uh, yes, you are. So can I be your girlfriend now? Yeah. Okay. Carry me. My boyfriend? <laughs> Come here now, boyfriend. Please make sure you pack everything. Take it's my all stuff, right. okay? Come on, guys. Come on. We have to go now. Yeah. Chen Chang Lai. <laughs> Can you slow down? <laughs> Big girl can't walk on her own. <laughs> hey, Shao, please put me down. Put me down. You don't like me at all, do you? No matter how hard I try, I know you'd never like me. I jumped into the water because you said it was for fun, but you still don't like me, right? Say something. feelings like everyone else. I was scared when I did it. Because I couldn't swim. But I still jump without hesitation. I did it so I could make you like me. If I don't take courage to tell you what I feel for you today, someday in the near future, you're going to tell me face to face that... Babao... I don't have any feelings for you. I also know that you did what I wanted to happen today. Because you want to try to make me happy and... And because you want to do something to comfort me. But you know what? I don't need it. I really don't. Beisha will remember this. Between you and me, I was the one who liked you first. But it's also me who dumped you first. Remember that. doing are you gonna do something stupid again are you crazy i'm telling you the water is deep cold and filled with weeds you'll be a fish food if you jump she's right babao i can pull you out of there and dry you out but what if i accidentally hurt you what if you lose an arm or an eye tell me will you still have the will to live he's right what if what if you get trapped in the grass down there i'm serious you're never gonna get out of there what are you guys talking about why won't you she's tell right. something? say something babao 
if you can't be with... If you can't be with the man you love... There's no point in living. So jump. What are you saying? Go ahead! Are, are you, you out of your mind? <sighs> Babao. I know it. We all know you're having a bad day today. You should go home and rest. No more drama. I don't want to go home. I want some beer. <sighs> Tell me, guys. What's not likable about me? There's no, nothing there's wrong nothing with wrong. you. Then why can't Beisha will see something in me? Her story seems to be a cliché. I don't know. The first time I met Beisha Wu was... inside a bar. Oh, come on. You only took a sip. Hey, bartender. I'll have another one here. It's on me. Take your hand off me! Take your hey. hand off me! Don't you think it's inappropriate to treat a girl like this, mister? And I thought... I was just acting all along. But later on I found out... <laughs> that I really am in love with him. And that he never really liked me. shed a tear for that jerk again. Wait, girls, can we... can we go to another place? It's actually owned by... the place is owned by her ex-boyfriend's close friend. He's already an ex-boyfriend! Mm. Who doesn't have an ex-boyfriend? Without ex-boyfriends, how would a woman know that she deserves someone better? Well, I'm not afraid of anything. I have nothing to do with those two anymore. Are you sure you want to go? Hey, aren't they Chung Dianyo's men? Let's go. Oh, come on. Don't be scared, okay? Oh. Let's go. Ugh. Watch your step. Which Mr. Chin are you saying? Such an entitled He's man. my boss. What did you just tell her? Hey, miss. Uh, what is... Chin Liang! What? Don't you dare touch her! What do you want? 
What is it? Don't, don't touch me! What do you think you're doing? Don't you dare me! Hey, this. don't make me I hit you! I can't believe you! Come on, I dare you! Do it! Hey. Ridiculous! Hey. What? Come on! So crazy! Oh, how dare you! Come on, let go of me! Let don't go! Touch what me. are you looking at? Come on! I said, let go of me! Hey! Learn Joshua. some matters, no. okay? Let go! I said, no. So you're representing the Chung family? Stop it! That's enough! shouldn't have taken her to that bar. She'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I didn't expect it. I didn't know she would hurt her. So, Liang Shang, what are you planning to do next? I'll be taking her to France. I've contacted the psychiatrist there for her. Yesterday, Zhang Sheng told me that she saw Xiao Zhou. Yeah, I know. Actually, I didn't want her to see Xiaojo there. Me neither. But I still think it's kind of rude to do this to her. You know what? I wish I could trust people like Zhang Sheng does. She easily gives people her full trust. And what does she get from that? All she gets is heartbreak. That's not true, Liang Sheng. Do you remember that time when you went missing? She was the only person who believed. She was positive that you'll come back. Our college days were the best. How I wish I could go back there. Our life was so simple. And everything goes slow. You, me, Zheng Shang, Bei Xiaowu, and Xiao Zhou. still talk to Tinan. How is he doing? Are we talking about me right now? Do I look like a spy for the Chengs? I think there must be a reason why you decided to stay here, since your parents are abroad. They want you to move to the U.S. So I'm thinking you still have some feelings left for my cousin. <laughs> You're crazy. Well, for old time's sake, and for the sake of our friendship, promise you'd be gentle on him. Huh? <laughs> Please don't kill him. I'll let you make him suffer, though. Jin Liang, I think you should find someone better than him. Tinan's not for you. I know that. You know what I think? I don't want to get involved in that bloody war of yours. Just go and take her to France. It'll be better for her to heal and forget there. I hope she's healthy when she gets back here.
must be feeling uncomfortable. Don't worry, we'll be home soon. As long as I'm here by your side, you will never ever be by yourself. Also, I'll be taking you out of here real soon. I'll take you to Paris. So forget them. Forget all the pain you're feeling. I will help you get better. Is that the homework your Braille teacher gave you? <laughs> May I take a look? Zhang Shang. Zhang Shang. Zhang Shang Zhang, okay. Uh, yes. Shang Zhang. Uh -huh. Oh. The Chong family is in a dire situation. Grandpa is old, and our competitors in business want to edge us out. I just can't walk away and let the Chong family fail under my watch. So that's it. You're on your own now. Are you serious about what you just said? Do you really mean it? Believe whatever you want. Are you crazy?
You're here for Pumpkin, aren't mm -hmm. you? She'll be back to school soon. I just came to bring her uniform. You're so thoughtful, ma'am. She's inside now. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pumpkin, look. Here. I just bought you this pretty uniform. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I do. You will wear this every time you go to school, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> look, it also has a bow here. <laughs> I will be coming back soon. Sister Chang, mm -hmm. I haven't seen Uncle Chung for so long. I haven't seen him in a while, too. Do you miss him sometimes? Because I miss him so much. Actually, so do I. This is for... This is for Pumpkin to use. I'm going to Tibet for a while, so please take care of her. Oh, okay. Don't worry. We'll be taking good care of her here. <laughs> Have a great day ahead. Thank you so much. Hello? Jin Liang? Yeah, I will be. <laughs> Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? <laughs> well, what a pleasant surprise. What are you doing here? A lot of years have passed, and you're still the same. You're still so childlike. <laughs> <laughs> this one's good too. Mm. Try it. Mm. It does mm, taste good. Nice. Mm. Although I've had better ones. That looks good. Hey, can you open that? Sure. Here. <laughs> it's really good. And this one's mine. Open and this that one. one next. Mm. All right. I've been to try it. You should it's okay. Okay. How did you get in here? This was Bao Bao's idea. Nobody can mm. take that credit away from her. Well, we came here for the gossip. Mm-hmm. Gossip? Uh, you sounded different while we were on the phone. Come on, ladies, bill it. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. Well, a lot of years have passed, and you're still the same, you're still so childlike. And why are you here? Come on, I heard everything. Is your classmate in college? Guys, I can't believe you're being so nosy. <laughs> Liang Shang took time to get out of work. He came all the way here to visit you. Don't change the subject. Just tell us, who is that friend you were talking to? <laughs> well, he wasn't my classmate. Actually, he was my guidance counselor at the university. Also, he was the organizer of the Chintianga. He also organized the activities at the welfare house. I have nothing to do with him. His name is Wang Liang. He's a man of pursuits and dreams. He gave up his comfortable life to lead his team. The Chintianga teaches in rural areas. He's committed to realizing his calling. Ordinary people like you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Did he invite you out for dinner? For coffee? Or anything else? <laughs> You're so... Mm. <sighs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm betting ten dimes. He will ask you out for dinner. And have a cup of coffee. Or something else. <laughs> Hello, Zhang Shang. Would you like to have dinner with me? <gasps> Hmm. I knew it! What a smart move. <laughs> Hello there! Hey there! We're good friends of Zhang Shang. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, we haven't had dinner either. Okay, bye. Dinner is solved! <laughs> Hello? Okay, got it. I'm on my way. Sorry, guys. I can't join you. I have to go now. Have fun with your dinner. Just please don't forget to bring Zheng Sheng back afterwards, okay? Make sure she's home we will. safe. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye-bye. Why are you leaving? I'm you sorry. can't please hey. stay. We need to. I have things to do. Bye-bye. I have to go. Bye-bye. Bye. Where are you going? It must be Wei Yang. Hmm? Wei Yang? There's nothing wrong if he's seeing her. Mm. 
I heard you're going to visit Tibet. Why do you like Tibet? What's wrong with Tibet? Well, a lot of people go there for entertainment, purification, enlightenment, and guidance. You're not going for any of those. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, don't get me wrong. Oh, well, if you really want to do something meaningful, you don't have to go to Tibet. You can join us to teach in different places. We will be going to the Shilaton Elementary School next month. So, you can come with us as a volunteer. I think it'll be more meaningful. Maybe you want to try it. Volunteer? I hope you can. Hey, consider my offer. I need talents like you. I really do. I think that's a good idea. But I'm not sure if I'm qualified for that. Uh, well, you're more than qualified. Just call me, okay? <laughs> now, I have to go, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. 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 Next time Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, hey, Zhang Sheng. That guy wants you to become a volunteer teacher. Are you sure you can get used to that lifestyle? He's leading a very meaningful life. You don't have to worry about him. Mm -hmm. I want to do something nice, too. What do you think if I give it a try? Uh, don't forget <laughs> it. You can just continue with your blog and post more pictures online. What? <sighs> Seriously? Oh, I'm what dead she serious. Thinking? Finally, you've made a decision. If you go back here now, then all the pain you two suffered will vanish. Is it the right thing to do? If you do that, maybe it will hurt her even more, so you need to let her go. If you think you won't burden her, then go ahead, because I can't stop you anyway. Go ahead. There's nothing I can do. This one looks nice as well. Mm. It's comfortable. I really like the color. <laughs> that friend of yours told me your brother works in finance. Mm. I would like to meet him personally. Mm. We would like to raise funds for schools located in the mountains. And also we're looking for companies that would agree to be our sponsors. Does your brother have any connections? Oh, I can ask him about it. Mm. You had better behave and be good to each other, or else I'm going to take all the shares you own in the company. You would lose everything you have, making you even less than a beggar. I'm not threatening you. I just want you to know, the bond between brothers is stronger than steel. I'm warning you. Stop attacking him. If something happens to Liang Shang, you will get nothing from the Zhou family fortune. Aren't you surprised that I'm here? I'm not surprised by what's been happening. Father said... He would want to see us getting along. Are you talking about Mr. Joe? Mr. Joe... I heard that something terrible happened at the Chung Vacation House. Zhong Sheng had a terrible accident in Sanya. 
I also heard that my brother Liang Sheng would take revenge on whoever tries to hurt his sister. I hope it's nothing serious. I think you better mind your own business. Well, the only option you have is to get along with me. You are not running a charity here. Tell me, what do you want from me? Well, I think you're right about me. But Father said, if we don't get along, we get nothing from the family. We won't get anything. Well, I don't want to lose the money that really belongs to me. I'm sure you also don't want to lose the chance of taking revenge on Chong Tian Yao. So I guess we really have to work together so we succeed. Think about this, the stronger our forces, the weaker our rivals will be. We have to get along in order to do this. So think about it. This could be your chance. What are you talking about? Mr. Chung has made it very clear to us. He wants Miss Zheng Sheng to leave. Liang Sheng, this is for your own good. Asking Zheng Sheng to leave? It's for my own good? My goodness. Mr. Chung has really injected a lot of negative thoughts on me. But then... What if I don't want to? Sheng Sheng Bu Xi Bi Yong Yuan 